so in a excel there are lot more pasting option with us you know we work in excel with somewhere it is formula somewhere it is text somewhere it is date okay so what happens see when i clicking on this c column sales column then you can see a formula in formula bar this is called formula bar so there is a formula yeah. in formula bar okay mm -hmm. and a uh, this formula is basically generating the random numbers between 10 to 90 okay yeah. so uh, in all sales column i have uh, uh, given this formula so basically it is a number with two decimal places and here is a date and there is a text so if i do simply copy paste control c or i can use after selecting my data i can use copy and paste uh, that paste so in that you can see the same data is copied here all formulas are there so sometimes we don't want to use formulas uh, i don't want to provide formulas here because maybe this uh, data can be linked to other i don't want the formulas to be pasted here because it, it's always it shows me different values let's try okay so uh, basically what i want to do i want to paste only values here which are given here it is a general okay. option which we uh, usually use in excel so when we copy that then uh, right click where you want to paste it then you have a option of paste and another one option is paste special so in paste okay. special a dialog box open like this mm -hmm. in that when we copy and paste uh, general co copy and paste then what it does it form uh, it copies formatting uh, values validation comments and lot more stuff uh, and formula also okay yes. so we yeah. uh, instead of whole thing if we want a single thing such as i want values only so what i use here values values mm -hmm. okay when i click okay so a, you can see there is no formula in formula bar that's right okay nothing mm -hmm. in our formula bar but we can see as i demanded for paste as values i can see there are decimal there was decimal places in my uh, sales and in my date date is totally changed here so what yeah. is that actually it is called number formatting why you know about this tab you know or not mm, yeah. i don't i don't know really okay i don't know i didn't see this okay no problem so uh, when you click in this small arrow you can see here small arrow you find a dialog box opening with number category there are few more tabs also such as alignment font border but especially is number so in number formatting we set the format such as numbers if we have to give decimal places how many decimal places we have need to give we can select from here the date format we can choose from here there are different different date format so these are formatting called number formatting so basically what mm -hmm. happened when we choose uh, our option paste as values so what happened my number formatting got lost in it okay that's right so that's why mm -hmm. it is now in general format by default the value goes in general format not in number not in date it is in general format so mm -hmm. now what i want to do i want to paste as values but maintain my number formatting here okay okay mm -hmm. so what i will do i will just copy that 
and right click here paste special and then instead of using this value I can use value and number format uh -huh. uh, when you click on that so you will find the number formatting is maintained now but you can see the formula is not here yes that's right okay mm -hmm. what's more uh, with uh, this option that uh, you can see there are some hashes here why because it is not properly maintained what the yeah. co column width it is given here it is not there so yeah that's clear uh, so sometimes we have a large data and we copy to different sheet and uh, we waste so much time for adjusting column itself so after pasting yes. this thing if I right click and go to paste special again so I have an option for that that is called column width okay, okay. so mm -hmm. when you paste column width the columns will be adjusted to its parent location okay the column width will I be see. applied by this okay, okay so it's gonna be the same as the, the previous one Yes, yes, yes. Now mm -hmm. again we use paste special. We have one more option all except border. When we select that press OK. So you can see a border uh, is given in black color here border. Mm -hmm. So yes. So if I don't want border but I want everything except border so I can use this thing okay okay uh, right click yes. paste special all except borders okay then we have uh -huh. another option here all using source theme see we usually don't use this source theme because the source theme is uh, we use in our excel theme, uh, uh, our powerpoint if you uh, uh, want to see in page layout there is a tab page layout and there are some few themes like in PowerPoint you must have seen there are some page settings uh, different type of font is there so uh, basically theme is used for that okay sir come again please uh, uh, one second I just receive one call okay take your time ah. I want to uh, say that it works as copy and paste but there are some okay. themes themes basically we yeah. don't use in Excel because uh -huh. uh, uh, Excel don't require that we use it in PowerPoint but the option is given so in Excel you will not find any difference in copy and paste okay mm -hmm. yeah so uh, next thing we do as we are doing some uh, parts here only the excel part of copy uh, copied data so we can choose our different different part here so go to in paste special see here is all all means control c control v every option will okay. be copied next if you want to uh, paste only formulas uh, any special formula but when you paste formula you will find value also so formula is there but it makes no difference okay it uh, All right. yeah. values I told you that if you don't want formula then you can use values then if you want formatting we were talking about earlier number formatting and when we referred as formats then uh, it includes all type of forward including mm -hmm. border setting cell background color, font color so all formats we can uh, choose from this format option all the formats will be copied here yes okay suppose uh, I want to do uh, paste as values 
uh, value uh, I have done values and I want the same formatting also so I can go in paste format and choose formats also so I have a format and for column setting I can quickly do column width also so uh, everything is adjusted but no formula is there okay mm -hmm. the data is yeah. same but no with no formula so uh, yeah. we, we can use this quickest option then we have comments next option we have comments in comments oh, sometimes yeah. what happened we type lot uh, a very large comment in something updates of something mm -hmm. we provide in comments so it is very difficult to deal with comments because uh, yes. when you move your cursor it will hide and how to copy uh, these comments so you can uh, copy uh, the area where the comment is pasted and you can go in paste special and uh, copy the comments also so you can see this right sign so the comment will be pasted here I see Okay. okay next thing we do data validation data validation what happens sometimes we want to restrict ourselves we will be talking about later with data validation because it's a separate topic it's uh, for one hour it's a one hour topic so basically what is the validation sometimes I need a drop down type of list so I just show you and some data I give in that so there you can see a button is populated where the value is okay mm -hmm. uh, how did you do this? Uh, uh, well basically this you, can, you, you, can, uh, you can go in data tab in data validation and you will find this type of uh, dialog box where you can choose list and type the list values here so okay, okay. it will not yeah. allow to enter anything except these drop down values if I want to write something I can't write because uh, there is an error alert for me okay All so right. that's why we mm -hmm. use validation we will uh, discuss later on in our classes that what is validation how to use it so uh, mm -hmm. I'm just telling you for pasting purpose for doing paste that how to copy and paste this validation also because mm -hmm. so you copy yeah. and where you want to apply such as in this whole cells I want to apply this validation so I can right click paste special and paste validation also so in every okay. cell I can see there is a validation alright yeah okay okay yes now next option we try suppose we have some values here I just I have just made a list and uh, manually and after that I find that there are some mistakes in our these values that 12 should be added in that 25 should be added in this one 36 should be added in this one 20 should be added in this one I want to add uh, these all values in that in this sales okay. column okay so mm -hmm. what we generally do we generally do equal to select this cell and uh, uh, give a plus sign here and give this thing here the next reference then we find the addition of 2 is here with the help of formula in blanks where we have blanks it, it takes as 0 so no change is there then what we do we just copy the cells and uh, select this value go to right click on paste special then I paste values so this procedure is very lengthy I, I am applying here I want to say that okay. when I have to paste the values again in that so why don't we use directly copy and paste so we can use directly copy and paste in that I just 
copy this data select this data right click paste dispatcher so the upper option was for pasting and here you will find in operation uh, group is also there by default it is selected as none but you can do simple mathematic calculation with that also so if you choose this add option so this c column will be added in this b column okay when i press I see. okay mm -hmm. so it will be added in this you see here it is 36 now it is 75 and it's one zero so it mm -hmm. is yeah okay that's right yes okay now now with addition some uh, some general task what we do suppose this uh, there is a chart uh, like sales and we want to uh, take uh, give some achievement percentage here okay whereas our okay. tar target is 200 so what we do usually we apply a formula we apply a formula mm -hmm. that uh, 200 divided by oh no this is wrong formula uh, first i have i need to choose this 47 then divided by this and then what i do here i have changed into percentage uh, uh, percentage number formatting by default it is selected but let's support it is in general so you will find that 0 0.235 is there otherwise we have to multiply with 100 so mm -hmm. we can use our percentage sign here okay yeah. Yeah. so it will be directly converted into percentage shown as percentage yeah. then we need to uh, fix this value that uh, because we want to drag the values down why let's see here there is b2 b2 means in b column second value and there is t2 when i am dragging the cell so i find where I put dollar that was remain D2 but where I have not put dollar that was uh, that converted into B3 okay when I am dragging okay. down the cell reference goes changes every time how did you put the uh, dollar sign uh, dollar sign you can manually do or you can uh, just select uh, this thing and uh, use F4 function key F4 from your okay. keyboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I highlight the, the cell or the column. Yes. And just uh, press uh, F4. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So when you press F4, it gives you different different types of uh, dollar options. So dollar option, I will make you understand how we will use it in our uh, further classes but uh, let us know how to do with copy and paste I just copy this target select this sales option for that uh, first uh, uh, I just copy this value to in uh, achievement then I copy this 200 and select this achievement value because we can do some operations with our paste special also so I choose paste special then we have divide divide option i have chosen then i press ok mm -hmm. it got divided and then i press percentage okay yeah that's it yeah but uh, let us take a, as practically practically we know that uh, the target cannot be same for all employees because someone is hero someone is zero so target can be uh, different for all of them so here yes. I have a target list full list because here I have uh, divided with single value but I can do this thing with multiple values also I can choose this whole range copy mm -hmm. select this data and go to paste special and choose divide and press ok you will find 
द डिविजन इज डन ऑफ द विद द सिंक्रोनाइज वैल्यू द सेल इन फ्रंट ऑफ दिस इन फ्रंट ऑफ सेल्स एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ टारगेट दे आर सेपरेटली डिवाइड विद ईच अदर okay okay this thing mm-hmm. we can do with multiple uh, suppose we have uh, three days sales and we want to know three days achievement and we have three days different different targets also so we can use this same option also here this you can choose a copy because it needs that uh, whatever you are copying with multiple cell the applied cell should be same in number okay then 203 okay. will be divided with 47 213 will be divided with this 21 and so on so i just hmm. go to paste special and divide press okay then this percentage so you can see with our paste special option we don't need to put lot of formulas for here because formula uh, putting a formula is a problem and it is a time taking process so it is the fastest right. pro- uh, process for doing that in our offices what happens sometimes we do uh, suppose this is our yearly sale and uh, it is maybe in crores so we do like financial statements uh, and uh, there i know i want that value should be display in value in crore or you can say millions or whatever you want so i want to make it as value in crores mm-hmm. so i have typed the figure here copied that selected this whole thing and then go to paste special and then divide in single go i can find the value in crores also 6 crores 4.3 crores okay mm mm-hmm. confusing a little bit but uh, see but uh, every yeah. time you will not find the data as written you can find a formula also there suppose there is a total and you if you want to change total only there is a some formula i have applied which is totaling this much section okay and mm-hmm. i just copy this to all so we can find a separate calculation with the help of formula here but if i want to show this value as in points value in crores i can do this mm-hmm. so uh, uh, but i cannot change my formula formula should be there so i can use just copy and the same thing we have done with that paste special and divide so what happens here you will find the values but there is a formula modification done by paste special okay mm-hmm. yeah so the value the problem uh, uh, yeah uh, just a question uh, yes yes okay. um, i don't know how much time is going to take this demo yes yeah, okay. uh, first because i have to really uh, i'm running out of time and oh. Oh, okay. just, uh, I'm really interested. Uh, I'm really interested in this. No problem, and sir. We uh, can continue uh, further with your time. Uh, when you have time, just uh, call me or give me a message. We can start again. Okay? No problem. It, uh, just uh, yeah. My question is really the time. Uh, it's not good with me. If we can like find a different time, because uh, uh, now it's uh, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, I have to. You know, it's really difficult to take the class on this time. Oh, no problem, sir. We can adjust the timing. Just decide that uh, we can adjust the timing because one more c- candidate was t- taking fl- a class from US, and that was Art- yeah. Artis Das, I think, for Excel. He was he was maybe doing some financial engineering. He is also from US, and he takes class on Saturday, Sunday, at uh, n- 9 p.m. India timing. 
that may be like uh, 9 a.m. in U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that sounds good. If we if you can change it later on. So, uh, mm. and this is one, one of my problems. The other problem, I have uh, like assignments from uh, my uh, teacher. Okay. Th th I think, I believe they are uh, simple for you. I mean, to me, they're really difficult. Okay, okay, but no problem.